Hi, this is Robert Malone again, uh, speaking to you from Virginia, USA. And the second question that Guillaume sent me and asked that I address for you folks is uh, to what extent could this discovery help fight against other diseases? First off, I'd like to say that is uh, a question that you can answer better than me. Uh, certainly, I have my ideas about how this technology can be used. mRNA is a drug, RNA is a drug, and mRNA for vaccine purposes. But you are the people that are going to make that possible. It's your imagination that will lead to those uh, applications. What I can say is that I spent many years working on uh, the use of uh, this technology for uh, delivery of ribozymes to silence genes. And of course, many others have carried this much further with siRNA, antisense, and other related technologies. Uh, so certainly silencing gene expression gives rise to a wide range of applications in oncology, infectious disease, and many other uh, autoimmune disease, etc. cetera. Um, uh, I suggest that when you think about this question, um, you, you Keep in mind the fantastic work that Peter Cullis and the team at Acuitas have done in developing uh, new delivery reagents that make all of this possible. I think one of the most amazing things in this whole mRNA vaccine story is how efficient the delivery system is. I never imagined anything that works this well. With that, really the whole spectrum of gene therapy-like applications become possible. Uh, so we, any application that involves a biologic that needs to be expressed in a cell for a reasonable amount of time, not chronically, um, or can be re-administered, so dosed, safely, becomes possible with this technology. It's just a question of your imagination. In the original disclosures, I called this transient gene therapy. And it has the advantage that unlike more classical gene therapy, where one attempts to uh, alter the uh, chromosomes, the genetic information of the cell through various methods, and insert a gene that's going to be expressed for a very long period of time, this brings the, the application into a more classical drug delivery space so that we can administer a product, in this case uh, an RNA, that will exert an effect for a reasonable amount of time and then it'll be degraded and you can redose it. This has huge advantages for safety, uh, modulation of therapeutic endpoints, etc. So when Guillaume asked me what could this discovery be used for to help fight other diseases, I say pretty much the entire spectrum of applications that we currently imagine for biologics in drug development. And again, um, I, it's not for me to answer that question at my stage in my career. It's for you. And I look forward to learning from your discoveries and findings.